Is your business standing out from the pack or are you getting lost in the sea of sameness? Hi, Kenny Harper here and in this video I'm talking about strategies for differentiation. Welcome to Growth Amplifiers where we showcase the best tips, resources, and tools to amplify and scale your business. Unless you want to be competing on price, unless you want to be lost in the sea of same, you've got to do something to stand out, to be different, to have an edge. Many businesses think, ah, if I put my name out there, if I say we have good customer service, if I post on social media and have a pulse, people will see me and they'll do business with me. And the thing is, you still can gain some business that way because you're going to have some word of mouth. That word of mouth is going to get out there. You might get some referrals, but chances are you're going to get probably lower tiered referrals. That's what typically happens. People will be like, oh, my cousin Sally needs some help. And they refer cousin Sally. Cousin Sally's not bad or anything, but she's not an ideal customer. If you want to get ideal customers, if you want to stand out from the pack, if you want to be the go-to expert in your industry, you've got to differentiate. I'm going to be sharing some things that most people are missing when it comes to differentiation that you could check off and make sure that you're standing out from the pack, that you're not in that sea of same or being perceived as a commodity and having to compete on price. The first thing is a lack of a branded solution. A few years back, I was working with a bookkeeper. She provided a great level of service. She would get people set up by understanding their challenges, understanding what their needs were. She would create a great tech stack customized for them. Then she would help set up their financials in such a way where they had clear reporting and forecasting so that they can make really great business decisions. The thing that was a challenge, she called it bookkeeping services. She said, bookkeeping, I do bookkeeping services. She did not brand it in such a way that it was clear that it was her own. That she did not share the full value in the transformation that she provided. Of course she said she did it on her website, but mainly it was, I do bookkeeping and I can also help with tech stack. And I can also help with providing financial inputting. The thing is, we took the time to brand her solution. It was the clarity solution that she could offer specifically for construction, construction clarity solution. And she was able to share that with construction workers, that she had a proven approach to work with construction and trades professionals to help them start with not having clarity, with maybe just some initial bookkeeping, with getting clear on their tech stack, with being able to set up the reporting. She spelled it out for them and it was part of a branded solution. Now, if someone's gonna be talking to her or a competitor who's offering something very similar, she has something that's branded that only she can offer that's customized for those she serves or someone else that just offers the same service, which do you think would have more value? It's gonna be the one that was differentiated that was really customized for those she served. Number two, a lot of times people miss the lack of a unique selling proposition. People will say, I've been in business for 20 years, 30 years. We provide great customer service. We use a lot of technology in certain brands. Who cares? Everyone has experience. Everyone's gonna claim they have good customer service and everyone uses the same tech. That is not a unique selling proposition. We've gotta be able to clearly communicate that you do something a little bit different that goes above and beyond, that differentiates your business from everyone else. If you're comparing apples to apples, it's commoditized. The only thing that can really differentiate commodities is price. And you don't wanna be getting into a price war with other service providers because there's gonna be people that are scarcity mindset and they're gonna drop the price and they're gonna win the business. And then do you wanna drop your price to win that business? That's a losing solution. Instead, when you can create a unique selling proposition and people can see, aha, I understand why I should go with you versus your competitor, now it's apples to orange. One of the ways we like to do that is providing that flagship offer that really stacks the value in what you provide by not just providing service, but by also providing education and tools in that branded solution. And by doing it in such a way that where you can clearly communicate that, you're now changing the game. There's no longer a price comparison. You can put more perceived value in your offer than your competitor's gonna even try because you've played every ace. And last but not least is that lack of clear marketing message. If someone asks you, what do you do? How do you communicate that? How does that 
articulate out of your mouth. A lot of the times people get caught up in the technical. They don't have it written out. They don't have it clear in their own mind and they try to communicate and they typically just rattle off the commoditized service. And then they're being perceived as a commodity or maybe they talk too much tech. They're talking about all the software and now they're overwhelming the person that they're talking to and they don't even understand what they're saying. Here's the thing. You want to be able to create a clear marketing message that resonates, that helps people understand who you help, the challenges that you solve and the benefits of resolving those challenges. Because people don't just want a service, they want the benefits of the service. They want transformation. And when you can articulate that clearly, that's when people will say, that's what I want. Now, you can do all of these things and have them written out in such a way where not only you can articulate them, but also your team members can articulate them. It could be clear on your website. It could be clear in your social media. It can be clear in your sales presentations. So when people ask, what does this person do? It's not they do a bookkeeping, they do accounting, they do tax planning, they do CFO services. They help certain people with these challenges have this solution so they can experience these benefits. It's a clear framework you can follow and can have a massive impact on how people experience your business and your brand. So clarifying question, are you standing out from the crowd or getting buried in the noise, in the sea of same? If you're looking to improve your differentiation and stand out from the crowd, be seen as the go-to expert of your industry, follow Growth Amplifier's growth blueprint. We lay out the blueprints to differentiate your business, the actions you can take to amplify and stand out like the rockstar professional you are. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.